Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess Afia Sabrina Acapo, and I am back again via the leading of the Holy Spirit with another prophetic word for you guys. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the Spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name that I do pray. Amen, 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 amen. So you guys, I had I was just in the bathroom a few moments ago. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, you have a power that was placed on the inside of you that exudes all obscurity. And that power that lies on the inside of you because I abide on the inside of you is causing you to walk it out because I've already worked it out for you. You have been having situations to wear some of you, that you had warned against your mind that has caused you to think that you're walking in sickness, but the Lord is right now saying, walk it out. Get up, pick up your bed, and walk. Because the Lord wants you to know that you are walking in wholeness and healing and that you are walking in a supernatural power in this hour. The Lord is saying you have been walking by faith. You have been praying. You have been believing. You have been in your word. You have been focusing fully on me. And I want you to believe in my power that my power exudes it all. And my power is bringing you out. That power that lies within. Your father lies within. And if he abides on the inside of you, don't you know that you are coming out? That there is no power that's greater than your father's. The Lord is wanting you to know that he is a powerhouse that is right now bringing you out. Somebody definitely needed to hear this word because you've been having mind-boggling things to make you think that you are trapped in some type of sickness some type of sickness and that you've been stifled and it's been holding you up in captivity and it's been like a stronghold that has been coming up against you. But the Lord is wanting you to know his power exudes if you would just trust in him. Hebrews 11 and 1, that now faith it is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that you cannot see. The Lord is saying He's placing a supernatural wholeness and healing because you have been praying and because you have been having staying power. And the Lord is wanting you to know, I know that it has been hard, but there's nothing too hard for your God. And he still wants you to know that his power exudes and you will come out with a positive outcome. No more negative. The Lord is saying, whose report will you believe? Believe the report that the Lord says about thee. Because this power in this hour is ex exuding everything and bringing about a drastic moment a momentous and a supernatural change that's going to bring you into freedom, that's going to bring you into liberation, that's going to bring you into deliverance, that's going to bring you into vindication, that's going to bring you into wholeness, that's going to bring you into healing. The Lord is wanting you to know it's been long enough. It's time for you to get up out of oppression. It's time for you to get up out of depression because the Lord is wanting you to know you have the power to walk it out because the Lord has already worked it out. His power exudes in you and his power. There's no power that's greater than his. So the Lord is saying, pick up your bed and walk because there's not going to be no more exhaust. But the Lord is right now strengthening you of Philippians 4 and 13, that you can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens you because he has placed an impartation in you of his strengthening power, of his supernatural power. 
of his healing power, of his wholeness. Freedom and liberation is yours for the taking. Deliverance and vindication is yours for the taking. The Lord is saying, no lie, no waiting. Somebody definitely need to hear this because somebody was actually believing in their mind of what the enemy told them when God told you something contrary to what his word says. That faith without works is dead and the Lord is saying, you have been working on it. You have been putting at you with faith. You have been praying. So don't be swayed and lopsided in another direction when the Lord wants you to know that you are covered up under his supernatural power and you are covered up under his protection. And this is your time of manifested blessings. The Lord is saying, this ain't no time to throw her in the towel. The Lord is saying, this is the time for you to walk forth and walk it out in his supernatural power, in his saving power, in his healing power. This is that time. And I hear Isaiah 60 and 1, the Lord is saying, arise and shine for your light. It has come in the glory of the Lord. It has risen upon thee. This is the time the Lord is saying, pick up your bed and walk. Pick up your cross and carry it and go out into all the world and do what it is that I required of you because there is more required of you. And the Lord has said, this is the supernatural power that I have placed in you that is all brand new. And the Lord is saying he is pouring that wholeness and healing on you. That he is changing your mindset, that he is changing your thinking. The Lord has said his power is greater than any other power. Trust him and you will see because deliverance is available. And. There's fruit producing, show stopping, yoke breaking power that's bringing you forth now. God has already worked it out. His hands were all along in the plans. His hands were all along on you. Be ye healed and whole because it is your portion. I decree it, I declare it, I command ye me that it is your portion. You are walking in the Lord's dunamis power. You're walking in his supernatural power. You're walking in his, in his saving power. You're walking in his healing power. Walk it out because the Lord says, get up, pick up your bed and walk. And he said, he'll take it from there because he has already gone before you and granted you his grace and unmerited favor. He has already gone before you and made all your crooked pathways straight. He has already gone before you and made every place, everything back into alignment, decent and in order with the assignment, according to his word, according to his will, according to his way, his laws, his commandments, his statutes and his precepts, line upon line and precept upon precept. The Lord has said in season and out of season because he has that supernatural power. He has that yoke breaking power. The Lord has said his power even exists exudes on the inside of you. His power exudes it all that you are coming forth supernaturally and you are shining through. His delivering power, his saving power is coming forth in you in this hour. The Lord is saying, walk it out because he has already worked it out. Now give it a shout because his power exudes outweighs and outstands it all and you will not fall but you will go forth and shine forth as pure gold because you're in the Lord's hands you're up on his power his momentous power his supernatural power his healing powers his, his yoke breaking power his demon chasing power and the Lord is saying that time has come, that hour has come, and you have walked into deliverance. You have walked out of obscurity and in to his promising power. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Somebody definitely needed to hear this. So that's why the Lord brought me forth, and it was so strong on me. I had just gone to the bathroom and the Holy Spirit began speaking that my power exudes it all. And if you would just believe me and have faith in me, knowing that you would succeed and you would succeed successfully and know that my power, my supernatural power abides on the inside of you, that my power exudes it all. 
that that healing power is upon you, that that yoke breaking power is upon you, that those mind boggling spirits have been broken. They have already been broken off you. You are not in obscurity anymore. The Lord is saying you have walked in your newness. You have walked into your land of promise. You have walked into your supernatural power. You have walked into it this month. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love each and every one of you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. We will most certainly talk one the next and do not forget that you walk in his supernatural power his power exudes it all his power supersedes it all always be in expectation that his power is going to deliver you from any fall and his power his healing power is going to change and rearrange it all in every aspect and area of your life. Keep the faith and keep the hope because his grace, it is sufficient. His mercy, it endures forever. His power exudes everything and is taking you to another level. Trust and you will see. Because this type of power that he is giving you, he says no more that you're missing enough is enough that you're walking into what his power been exuding for you from the very beginning for you to walk into your land of plenty. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, take care and we will most certainly talk on the next. God richly bless each and every one of you guys and see each and every one of you through to the greatness of success of God's best. We will most certainly talk on the next. Love you guys. Once again, we'll talk with you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.